Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning something really nice to use, actually. It's one of my favorites. It's called a screw mate. Okay, so as I see over here, we got a screw. And we want to simulate how it will go inside the a block, for example. So say this is a threaded hole right here. Now, obviously, it's, a, it's not a threaded hole, as you can see, but we're going to pretend it's a threaded hole. And then we have the screw over here that we made earlier in one of our chapters. Okay, so let's learn how to use the screw mate. So come over here under the mate. And then scroll down under the mechanical mates and you will see something called the screw mate. So go ahead and click on screw mate and you're going to see that there's a revolutions per inch and there's a distance per revolution. So say this is a 1032 screw. Okay. Now this is, I know it's an M6 screw, but say it's a 1032 screw because this is, we're going to go by inches. So 1032 through, that means there's going to be one divided by 32 and that will give us the answer. Okay. But before you do so, you need to come over here and select the two selections. You can either select the cylindrical faces or over here what I've done is I created axes to allow, to allow me to uh, line them up. Okay. Now, if you create the axes in assembly mode, you're not going to be able to line them up because SolidWorks will only be able to select one of the axes in SolidWorks. So you're going to have to be... So, uh, draw the axes in the part mode and then make them show up by going over here to show and click on axes so you can see the axes in the assembly mode okay so now that you have those two lined up as you can see they are lined up click on okay to accept it and let's see what happens so i'm going to take my screw i'm going to it's still in mate selection so i'm going to leave that as you can see i'm just rotating this screw up as you can see, the screw rotates up on threads. And then if I go about the other way, it's going to go down and thread down. Okay, so it kind of it's really nice. It simulates the screw uh, being threaded down there. Now, it's not something that a lot of people use. So it's not something that I expect a lot of people to actually get their heads dirty on and use. But it's such a nice feature that I always uh, got in the habit of using it just for fun. Okay, now you don't really don't need to use that in a model because people are not going to want to sit and, sh you know, show how this is threaded or unthreaded. So this is just for visualizations and something extra and nice in SolidWorks to use. Now, one other thing about this mate, if you go back to it, if you're going to see that it says a screw and it shows up a symbol of a screw on the left side of it. If I go back to this and edit feature and then come down here, there's also the reverse option. So if you uncheck the reverse option, you're going to see that this arrow flips. If I click on reverse, you can see this arrow is going this way. And if it's a reversal thread, which you know some of uh, some screws are this way, you're going to notice that now if I rotate the other way, it's going to be threading down instead of going up. And if I go this way, it's going to be going up, which is a reversal of a real thread. Okay, so that's how you use the screw mate in SolidWorks.